Hello guys, welcome back to Tutorial you guys, it's Jacob here and quickly before this video starts I just want to apologise for the late video, YouTube wasn't uploading my last video, this is about the 6th, 7th time I've been trying to upload it and it hasn't been uploaded and I don't know why so I'm just going to apologise for that and yeah, I'll let you guys get on with the video, bye. Hello guys, welcome back to Tutorial you guys, it's Jacob here and today's video is about 5 questions you usually get asked in a paramedic science interview. Um, if you're like me, the paramedic science interview for uni was the biggest day of my life. It was honestly the most important day and the most nerve-wracking day and just thinking what are they going to ask me really just it stayed in my mind throughout the entire day. So yeah, someone like this, I hope my experience will help you guys out so you guys can prepare yourself better. Okay, um, question number one. Um, that would be why did you want to become a paramedic? It's a question you get asked everywhere and f my advice to you guys would be don't just say an answer everyone else would say. I know that's kind of like a simple explanation but be special, be unique because if you're unique you're going to get remembered and you're going to get noticed more. Um, yeah, so, so they just want to see passion. Question number two is why this uni? Why do you want to go to my uni? And that's, that's a pretty kind of broad question because obviously they want the best students and you need to kind of show yourself as a best student, you need to show yourself as a model student so you do get that, that place, that placement. So my advice, my answer would be Obviously, actually, some more, some more of my advice would be go to the open days because that means you can explain the uni much better and also means that you can, you know, answer that better. So go to the open days and, you know, because if, you're, if your first experience of that uni is your interview and you don't like the uni, you're not going to have a good interview. So, yeah. Uh, question number three would be name... A time where you've been in a stressful situation. Now, this can be a pretty big question. Sorry, I'm shit my that. Um, yeah, this could be a pretty big question. So you need to think a lot about this. Just prepare yourself for anything, really. Um, so, for example, ev everyone thinks, oh, shit, I haven't, I haven't worked in care. I haven't worked in St. John. I haven't worked treating people. What am I going to do? Um, you don't need to. I mean... <laughs> You can just literally go in there working in Primark, for example. I'm not dissing anyone who works in Primark, but I'm just using it as an example. Um, if you did work in Primark and obviously someone comes up to you with a complaint and there's a big argument, you have to calm that down. That's a quite stressful situation. So you can use that in that um, explanation, in that answer. So not necessarily, you don't have to have experience within a care home. It helps, it will help on your own placement, but you don't necessarily need it. If you're the right person, you've got the right attitude, they'll take you on anyway. Um, what's that question number three? Yeah, question number four. Um, question number four is name a time and a place where you've had to work in a team and you've had to take lead. So they want leaders. As a paramedic, you need to be a leader at some point. Um, yeah, so you kind of think up of a situation where you found yourself in, for example, mine was in public services when I was in that and I had to build a raft and I had to take role when I was doing Duke of Edinburgh award with reading the map and that's quite a big role, you have to be a leader, you have to say we're going that way, not that way. So they want people who can take that role and who is confident in their role and they want people who actually has confidence in their orders but not ordering people but in their like direction. They, not, they don't want people who's obnoxious about their role. They want people who can take it good. They want good team leaders. Uh, question number five is name a time where you've had to self-reflect and build upon it. This is from my experience. You guys might not get these, but it's just giving you guys an idea. Um, so, for example, I had to have, do a lot of self-reflecting. I had to build up myself when I was starting in my first care room job, because that's my first care room job. I'm not gonna do everything right, but I had to build myself up for it. I needed to learn and progress, not digress from people saying you're doing that wrong, this is how you do it right. And that's what training is for. A kind of 
The final one is kind of 5.5 is think up of something to ask them because they want that. They'll ask you that. They'll say, do you have any questions for us? And if you say, no, no, fine. You're not going to get remembered. Ask them a question. Ask them a really hard question. That's um, that's good. But my question to um, a tutor that I that were interviewing me was, um, what makes this uni special for me? What does this uni offer me that other unis do not? That's usually quite a good question. So I'll be thinking, oh, wait, what can we offer you? And if they do like say something and it kind of pushes you over the edge of actually going to this uni, it's brilliant. And yeah. It also gets you remembered, so it's a good one all round. Anyway, guys, this is going to be it for today's video. I'm really sorry about this video being late, I explained it earlier. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, I really hope, hope it helps you guys out a lot. Like and subscribe for the channel. We just hit 500, it's absolutely amazing. Um, and comment on the video saying how you liked it. Always helps. Anyway, guys, good luck with your interviews. Good luck with uni. Stay ordinary.